So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the visual representation here provided to us. More specifically, this is a graph question, right? Because the visual that we've been provided is itself a graph. So whenever I have a graph, I like to look at, you know, what do I know about this graph? Obviously, I have an x-axis and a y-axis. Um, looks like I have some x-intercepts here at 4 and 8. It looks like this has a vertex here at the point 6, comma, 4, right? So when x is 6, y is 4. And generally, it's an upside-down facing parabola, which tells me something about the fact that, in fact, let me just write that down for you guys. Um, so the parabola equation looks something like this, y equals plus or minus a, parentheses x plus or minus h, close parentheses square, plus or minus k, right? Where a, h, and k can all be different variables. Um, but what I know is if this out here, this a is negative, that makes my parabola face down. So I do know that much about this parabola. And I also know that h comma k represents the vertex, right? So that tells me that h is 6 and k is 4, which, you know, gives me, let's just continue going on with this. So I know I have y equals negative. I don't know what a is quite yet, but I do know I'll have an x. Um, oh, and things get a little tricky here. So with the h value, we're shifted, we're shifted, so we think about it as coming from the origin. So we're shifting to the right four units, which actually means I should have a minus six here. Because when we have a horizontal shift for a parabola or for any graph, there's a rule that, that's called insider's lie, which basically means any number inside the parentheses along with the x, you're gonna move the graph or shift the graph in the opposite direction of the sign that you see in that graph or that you see inside the parentheses. So a negative sign, which typically would mean that something should move in the negative direction or in the left direction, actually, if it's in parentheses, will shift to the right. And if it were positive, it would then shift to the left. So I have a squared here. And then because my vertex is shifted up four units, um, that's gonna be a plus four. All right, so that's gonna be as expected, basically. Okay, so I gathered all of this information just by understanding the graph, right? So here's the power of having this graph here. I haven't even read the question yet, and I just grabbed all that information from it. So the question says, what is an equation of the graph shown? So I'm going to cross out B and D because neither of those have the negative sign in front of the parentheses that I want in order for my parabola to face downward. So that's an easy 50-50 um, cross out. And then... What else do I know? Well, I know that I have a vertex of 6 and 4, so that means my answer must be choice C, right? Not choice A, which has 4 and 8. So I want 6 and 4, so choice C. So, you know, this video took a little bit over 3 minutes, but realistically, this question should take you no more than 15 seconds because you identify the vertex, and the 6 and 4 really take you to only having C or D as an option, and then you you identify the negative sign in front, which tells you the parabola faces downward, and there you go, choice C is the right answer.